Okay guys, what we're going to do here is a couple of people like this tractor. Uh, a lot of people aren't a fan of articulation, so I thought I'd do a little bit of a tutorial on how to make these uh, logos on these tractors selectable. It's, it's kind of cool with FS17 how you can do some upgrades. So <coughs> what I'm going to show you is how to kind of do that. And what we're going to start with is we're going to start with this quad tract just to export the labels. So that way if you want to do this, you want to follow along, all you have to do is, is go to my Twitch page. Look for my FS17 uh, Google Sheet and uh, download this quad track it's uh, basically if we go to my twitch page or better yet if you go to my uh, into my twitch and just hit uh, exclamation point mods this should come up if you scroll down it's the very top mod I have um, not sure why I have it off to the side here. But yeah, just click on this guy right here and you can download it. Simple as that. I'll have to double check that I have the right link there for some reason. It's. Come on. Let's get this one off here. Not sure what that's all about. Anyway, that's where you can find the guy if you want to follow along a little bit. Hey, Mimlar, how's it going, bud? I'm going to attempt a tutorial this morning. So basically, I'm going to show you what I did, how I did it, and I'm, we're actually going to copy some stuff off this tractor just to make it a little easier. But basically, I'm going to find this logo, so you're going to, you're going to need paint.net. Um, if you're getting into this kind of stuff, I hope you have that already, because it's kind of needed. Um, I actually did a logo section to make this easier, because I did several. At first, I just had a Detroit Tiger logo, and a lot of people was complaining about it, so I said, well, you know, I'll uh, give the option not have it, and then I go, oh, well, how about making it selectable? So, we're going to show you how to do your own now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually export these labels. That's the easiest way to get them out and start doing what you want, and you can basically duplicate from there by doing the same thing I'm going to do. So we're going to start, we're going to hit File, we're going to Export Selection with Files. Uh, I'm going to go into my Mods, I'm going to call this guy the, the Optimum Sports Pack. Um, so we're going to go ahead and dump this file into textures. We are going to call this, we're going to do Steelers today. I haven't done a Steelers yet, so we're just going to call this, uh, oh, which one have I got? It's the seat. So we're going to go um, seat, oops, Steeler logo. I think that'll work for me. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to hit no. And then I'm going to go to this guy, I'm going to go File, Export Selection with Files. I'm going to this texture, it's not really. We're going to call this uh, Top Stealer Logo. I'm going to hit Save. No, I don't want Parent Directory. We should be done with this guy, so let's close him out with that part anyway. <coughs> Let's go back in my mods here and open up this guy. Textures. Because we exported it, kind of messed it up here. What we're going to do is going to actually show you how to kind of clean things up as well. So we're going to have to keep going back and forth. Um, so let's go ahead and grab these two files. We're going to cut. Put them right into the textures folder. Paste. Get rid of that guy. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this name. So, copy. Um, doesn't really matter what file these are both the same size. We're just going to paste that guy there. We're going to edit this i3D. And we're going to just go right into here. We're going to rename that, that actual file. Hit save. Close. So now basically we're going to open that up. So make sure we don't get any errors. So we are good. F. I think I'm not sure why it's not showing up for us here. Probably because it shifted around or something. It's at an angle, so it'll show up in a tractor. Trust me. <laughs> Famous last words. All right, so let's go ahead and do the top. So copy. 
paste. I'm going to edit this guy and paste. Hit save. I'll open up, make sure we don't get any texture error. I'm good there. You can kind of see that one. It's off in no man's land, but oh, that's what I want to do too. I want to rename this. Save. Close. So I'm just see. Copy. Open them up. Actually, this is going to be a little goofy because we're going to have to actually place this logo. I probably I should have saved the one from another case I had. Um, hmm, save. Oh, uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll show you how to place the logo. How's that? So basically, them are them are our starters. Um, what we need to do now is I was to actually bring up the seat logo. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a number 7 on the seat. So what we'll do is actually I'm going to take and see what this does. Let's just hit control I to invert. Control C to copy. Control A to select all. Delete. Control V. Keep canvas size. Going to hold shift. Bring this guy down. Shift, bring him down. Shift, bring him down. Mm, a little small now. Just want to somewhat get it centered up here. Let's scroll in. No, it's too bad. Control D to deselect. Not really crazy about. Some of the textures on this, but I think being it'll be on the back of the seat is not gonna be a big deal. So we're gonna go ahead and go file, save as. I save it as the same file name. Yes. We're gonna do DTX5. Let's uh, the outside be transparent. We're going to generate bitmap so that way it blurs out when the camera is moving around so it isn't lagging you out on your system. I'm going to hit OK. Close it out and we're going to go to Top Stealer Logo. And basically, guys, all I did was just download this. Image, resize. So we get there. I'll look at this again. Image, resize. 256. Them numbers have to be kind of even. Either have to be even or half. Um, let's go back to top logo. Not sure why this guy is so out of whack. So let's go image resize. Let's go five twelve. Oops. Yeah. Five twelve by five twelve. Hit OK. Control all or A for all delete and let's go to this guy control all to select all control C to copy or any control V to paste keep canvas size shift this one down Oops. and we'll just this one can actually be pretty easy to center up like so. Going to file, save as. Yes. DTX5, generate bitmap, hit OK. Alright, now we have our logo with a picture. So now we're going to open this bad boy up. Like I said, they're going to be out of whack. I, I copied this from that case, and that might he might be better off actually once I get this guy uploaded. Um, you can just copy the logo from, from it or export like I already showed you. So let's go ahead and bring this guy open. Another thing too is make sure you have a work camera. Uh, switch to your work camera. Most of you guys will know that, but just making sure. Now we're actually going to import. Make sure we're in the right spot. 
Yep. So both these guys hit okay. And eh, they're somewhat in the right place, but we'll get them in the right spot. So now you want to make sure you get on the right transform here, like anything else. We're actually going to go create uh, transform group. We're going to call this logo. Alright, we're going to take this guy and hit control X. Put him right up here. Control V. Take these guys. Control X. Control V. Alright, let's see if we can get this top guy in the right spot. So bring them all down. And actually, I'm going to cheat. Like I said, I should have done this. I don't know what I was thinking already. I should have saved all the info just to save some time here. Let's go to one of the other ones I already did here. Um, this guy here. Extract. Let's open him up. We can copy the all the info and save us some time. So new decal. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna hit shift control V. I'm gonna go ahead and crank this guy over. This guy. Got an extra monitor on here today. I actually have three monitors now, so it's a little goofy to get used to. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here, we're gonna hit shift control V to paste them in. Shift control V, yeah, we're not copying here. Shift control C to copy, shift control V to paste. There we go. Now we're gonna go to the rotate, shift control C to copy, shift control V to paste. Let's go ahead and go right to scale. Shift control C to copy. Shift control V to paste. That should have got us close. For some reason we're not quite right, but it's probably gonna be because I used a different logo. So that'll get us close though. So we'll take this guy, just kinda try to line him up here. Wanna get it just so it shows up. Okay, no right there take a look let's get this material editing for now let's go point three point three mm, too bad basically get a watch that's not sticking up so it doesn't look funny from the side that's the biggest goal here that GPS things are kind of in the way not a big fan of that but oh well I didn't want to do that let's see there we go so I think we'll kind of stick with that it's on zero We can move them back just a tad more. Three, two, three. So that's going to be a pretty good spot right there, I think. All right, now for the seat. This guy should be pretty close to being right, because I'd imagine the seats are pretty dang close. So this ought to actually be zero. Pull them on down. Let's pull them into the seat. Down some more. Put crank this. Oh, not too bad. But you're not going to be in there to see the seat, so if this is back a little bit, we're okay. <clears throat> so it doesn't look too shabby. Actually, it probably could be off center a little bit. Let's go. 
like that seven right there. That's not too bad. All right, so basically we have the labels in place now. And what I'll do is I'll show you the, the easy way now. To reproduce this so you can do more than one. I actually do need to do that. So what I'm going to do, so we don't have to keep messing with all this stuff moving around. Now we have this set. Is we're going to do the same thing I did before, but I'm going to try to be smart about this so I don't have a mess. I'm going to go File, Export Selection of Files. I'm going to go up a folder. And this is going to be Seat. Oh, it's another one I already have done. Um, I'll just grab Braves. Braves. Logo. Hit save. No. File. Export selection of files. Top. Braves. Logo. Save. No. Minimize this guy. I'm going. Don't want that. Don't want that. Let me go back to my mod. So here it is. It's right out here on the top here. The reason I did that is because if I would have put it back in here, it would have over uh, overwrote that that DDS file. And we don't want to do that because we want to come in here and want to rename this. So we're actually going to go. You know what? I probably did it anyway. Okay, yeah, I bet you put it. I did. Yep, put it inside textures, which is no big deal. Let's go in here. Go see seat stealers and top stealers. We're going to copy these guys. We're going to paste them out here. And we're going to go seat braves logo. We're going to copy that name. And we're going to paste it. We're going to edit this guy. We're going to paste it. And save. Close it out. Let's open up. Make sure we don't have any goofy errors. It's all about pile. Uh, pile. Yeah, it's about right. About file uh, pathing here. So we don't have any errors saying it doesn't have a texture. So we're going to go top Braves logo. Right. Copy. Don't want you yet. Rename you. Paste. Edit. Oop. That's okay. Paste it anyway. Save. Close these guys. Alright, now we can actually take this guy, this guy, this guy. And we can go ahead and move them inside. So they're in the right spot. And now. We need a Braves logo. I'm going to cheat again. I'm going to go to Quad Track Textures. We have a Braves Small and a Braves Large. I'm going to hit OK or Enter to open them up. So there are our logos. I'm going to close this guy out. I gotta show you how I can actually make a, a HUD file as well. So we're going to go Seat Brave logo, Top Brave logo. Open them guys up. Alright, so that's the seat. We're going to use this guy. Hit Control A to select all, Control C to copy, Control A, delete, Control V, keep canvas size. I think I should have made these 512. We'll see how they look, but yeah, I'm gonna image. Yeah, if I mess with them now, it's gonna probably screw up some things. So let's just crank it down. It's no big deal. Let's go ahead and save this guy. DTX5 are good. So let's get rid of him. Him. Control A, delete. Control A, Control C to copy. Control V, that's in the right spot. I'm just gonna go ahead, 
save top braid logo save we're good so now we now have these matching up so let's go back to our tractor we're going to go import make sure you get into the right folder we have top braids and seat braids we're going to open them up and they're already in and because I export them that way they're already in the right spot so the nice thing is you don't have to fudge them around so we just go ahead and grab these guys and just clicking or holding control and clicking I'm going to hit control X to cut control V to paste so now we have a seat stealer top stealer uh, <laughs> I gotta rename these there's one thing I forgot to do control V Oop. control Z alright so this is actually uh, seat And the name here isn't extremely important, but I like to know what I have going on. I just, like an idiot, I forgot to switch it. Braves. And there we go. So now, let's go ahead and, um, we can go ahead and save this guy. Close him out. We can actually, one thing I've been trying to do is we are done with these i3D files, so we can go ahead and grab the i3D and the shape file, leave your logo stuff in there, but go ahead and delete these out. It's just excess files you do not need. You can keep one in there just as an export shortcut, but I suggest go ahead and get rid of them. Alright, so the fun part's done. Now the even best part is next. <laughs> uh, we're going to go into the quad track and we're going to look at the XML. It's right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down, see if we can find the design configuration. And once again, this is why it's nice to download the other mod because basically we're just going to take this, we're going to copy it, we're going to steal it. And credit GTX mod. This is where I, I got this from uh, one of his trucks. He was that he was uh, customizing. So we're gonna hit Control C to copy. We're gonna go ahead and go back to the Sports Pack guy and open him up. And I think what we'll do is we'll go right below. I think there's a color. This guy doesn't have, I'm not sure if this guy has color or not. So let's, uh, let's go into wheel configuration. And we will paste it right there. Alright, now we have to go and reference this stuff. We only have two logos on this guy, so let's go ahead and make sure that we have only two Here that line and what we'll do is sometimes it's kind of nice to come in here Oop, I have no idea what I just hit that's awesome whatever I did I jumped so what I'll do is I'll actually come in here and uh, put a carrot exclamation point dash dash. We're going to call this logo the fig. Do another dash dash to close that and the carrot there. Now it just gives you a description of what's going on there. It doesn't affect your scripting. Now we have to go. And we'll do the same thing. We'll go into mods. Let's get this quad track. Go to mod to script. Here's your configuration names. Um, so let's go ahead and grab this 10 in. Copy. Let's go back. Open up the mod to script here. 
I'll go right under multiplayer. Control V. And actually what we're gonna do here is we're going to go sports pack. And this is gonna be a description. out for now because this just gives you an idea how you can actually uh, mess with your functions as well in your descriptions so we can get rid of the quad track and come back all the way up to the top and control F it's under store data. Control home. Our next. Control V. Eh, I don't want to do that. Control V. Uh, the script. This is where you put your function in. Copy that guy. So it should pull the BD Sports Pack from this text line. With this tracker, you can select port logos. That make more sense. All right, and then we need to name these logos. So we're going to have. script we're gonna go Braves and Steeler actually it's a Steeler Braves and come into here Braves logo for the description. Steeler logo. They're the ones that we don't have. You can add these in later. kind of talking to myself here we'll get this next we'll show you how to make the HUD but what we'll do is we'll go move to other view so we can see both these guys I want to match these configurations up so basically you're gonna leave the value go I leave it at price zero I don't like charging for doing a simple upgrade like this so we're gonna have Brave logo Copy, paste. All right, Steeler logo. Copy, paste. We should be done with the mod scripts. So let's save him. We'll go ahead and uh, close him to get him out of the way here. Now we have to match these nodes up. Let's go ahead and bring this down the size. Let's bring up the case optum. Let's go view camera, work camera, 
Let's uh, shrink this guy down so we can see what's going on. Really wish I could stream all my monitors. <laughs> okay, now we have to get these nodes correct. I'm going to logo. All we'll do too is I'm going to go ahead and move these guys up so they're corresponding. There we go. So we have the seat Braves logo. Basically, just need to copy this path. So highlight that, Control C, and we're going to come right over here. Going to hit Control V, and this guy, Control C. Control V, and actually we can just that was odd. Control C, Control V. We'll just go ahead and copy these on down, and I can change them. It's basically going to have two and three, so you just come over here. Two, and three. Basically, what this is saying is, is, is a default. Um, it's just going to be value default. There's not going to be anything there. Um, and then when you choose the Braves logo, visibility active true, visibility inactive false. So basically, it's going to turn them on and off. Um, I kind of messed around. I thought I could go in here and make them invisible in I3D, but it, it wasn't working too good that way. So I left them invisible. Um, the only other thing we need to do is we need to make the Braves logo and the Steeler logo HUD. Took the Braves HUD and Steeler HUD. Let's see if I can remember the names. Um, once again, we are done with this guy. Um, we don't need to save him because we didn't change nothing. But we do need to go into my mod folder. And we need to go open up Braves. I want to go with the uh, top Braves logo and the top Steeler logo. Let's open them both up. Um, yeah, I don't really like that guy for the HUD file. This could be interesting. Um, seat Steeler logo. Being it's white, I'm not sure it's gonna, how it's going to look on the HUD. We can uh, mess with that though. Same with the Steelers. It might look a little different. But what you want to do for the HUD is we're going to go Image, Resize, and we're going to go 64 by 64. I hit OK. And I hit I'll come over here and see what the name of this guy is. Let's go ahead and Steeler HUD copy. I'm going to go File, Save As, and the Textures. So I'm in the Textures. I'm going to Control V for Steeler HUD. And hit Save. Um, you do not need to generate mint maps because this is going to be in game file. It's not going to be the camera moving around. So hit OK. I'm going to grab this guy, we're going to go image, resize, 64, 64, okay, and I did that wrong, nice, <laughs> alright, file, save as, and that's not the one I want anyway, see I'm having such a blast today, textures, let's go, Top Steeler logo. I managed to open both of these. Uh, tell I'm half awake, right? Resize 64 by 64. Apologize for this. File, save as um, Steeler HUD. Yes, replace it. Good there. Hit OK. And we want Braves. Seat Braves logo. Image resize 64 by 64. OK. File. Save as. And we want to grab this. Control C. Control V. Hit save. DTX5 and omit map. And OK. 
Pull them guys out. We should be good to go now. It's basically telling it to grab that HUD file. By default, it's like uh, data. And it's just a upgrade HUD, but I was messing around because the other stuff I do in the map, I figured out this works. So we're going to go with that. I need to save. Close that out. Close that out. Make sure I do have the fault select. Yep. And we're going to open the game up and see if we can cause any fireworks and errors here. I don't think I forgot anything. If the game opens. Come on. There we go. So let's go to a new... Actually, this will work. Um, let's just take a seat. Select all. Start. Let's make sure we don't have any goofy errors before I go any further. Um, so let's go log. And set him live. Control F. Error. Can't find any errors. Let's look for warning. That's just going to be a, a zip multiplayer, so that's not a big deal another warning I don't care about so we have no warnings or errors so that's a good start I guess I could have showed you that rather than so I got the extra monitor now so I'm all messed up <laughs> all right so let's go to the store and buy this guy tractor and we have I gotta change the name yeah, with this, so that's the description we added with this tractor. You can select sport logos. So I'll have to change the name in the mod too. I didn't do that, but go ahead and open this guy up. As you can see, the picture's still showing the old Green Bay stuff. So here we go. We got standard, Brave logo, and Steeler logo. So let's go ahead and you see I'll have to change the some pictures, some color in here, and I might actually make the the A a white. So no big deal. Let's go ahead and buy the standard guy. Let's buy the Braves guy. And let's buy the Steeler guy. Escape out. Okay. Come on over and look at what we got. Everything looks good. I don't have no flashing going on that I can see. Just uh, a little bit of shadow. Let's go ahead and drive this guy out into sunlight. There you go, man. You have a fleet of tractors with some sport logos on it. Um, we'll go out and show you how to fix the HUD file and the name. Should have updated the name, but everything looks pretty decent. I'm not seeing any major issues. So we already checked our log and didn't have a problem. That, that number could be down or up a little bit more so you can actually see a little better, but not too shabby. Alright, so let's go back to monitor capture. Let's go ahead and bring our log back up just to make sure we don't have any issues. Control find. Um, we want to go error. Right there. Warning. It's just going to be zip errors. We don't care about them. So close this guy out. Let's go back in and do a little bit of work here. I want to go ahead and get rid of him. Close that guy out. This is the mods folder. So let's go to textures. Let's bring up the Steeler HUD and the Braze HUD. Open him up. We're also going to go in here. Oops. And go to Mod Descript. And what I'll do. 
copy him. And we'll just go in here and uh, sports pack. Copy that. Paste there. And we should be good on that side. Let's close it out. Alright, let's take a look at this guy. I think. I think, I think, I think. If I just select this color. It's not like in that. Control I. Delete. No. Control Z. Changes tolerance down. Delete. Let's see what that does. Let's grab textures, the Braves HUD, and the Steelers HUD, and copy them out here just for the hell of it here. Let's go ahead and save this guy. Okay. Scroll in. Hmm. Save him. Okay. Let's bring it back up. See what we got here. And I can see it, but I can't get my screen to pop up. Come on. Farming simulator and OBS sometimes don't want to get along. There we go. I don't care. Deselect, select. And actually, I should have paid attention to make sure it looked right on the front page. No tractors. So now it is the BD case Optum Pack. So I didn't change that name. That's odd. And it's pretty obvious what that is. It's black, but then you can see the Steelers a little better. It's not just a blacked out. But why is this calling this the BD case Optum? Where am I missing the name at? And this stuff is kind of elementary. There's no reason to really get too concerned about this because you can learn that in some other stuff. BD Sports Pack. Oh, I know why. Because I didn't change up here. BD case Optum Sports Pack. That's why. So let's save. Close him out. And what you can actually do. And it's not going to have any tires, so that's going to look funny. So let's go ahead and open the game back up. BD case optimum support pack. Okay. V select select. Start. Start. Go to the store. Tractors. BD case optimum supports. Okay. So we're good. Let's buy him. Gonna go with the standard. Braves, Steelers. Escape out. I'm going to go ahead and reset. Reset. And they're all 
kind of in a bad spot. Ports back. I'm gonna open this guy up. Store. Yeah, we're using the same picture for both, so bring that guy up. And control A, delete. Go ahead and grab these guys like so. Oops. Control C. Control B. Keep canvas size. Kind of put them in the center. Go ahead and scroll in this guy. Let's see how we can. Uh, yeah. I think we're just gonna have to stick with the. That look kind of cool. E. Control Z, deselect. Just to make this a little cleaner looking. Save, DTX, hit OK, close. Now one more thing I usually like to do guys is I like to zip this up just to test it. Add archive, hit OK, cut him, paste, delete him, now open the game. This is just one last test to make sure all the casings are right because if you have capital somewhere in a in a lower case another spot it won't show up for you. So you know shoot an error. Yes. So BD case op sports packs, we look good. Start. Start. P There we go, we have the sports pack. So we're gonna have open this guy, we're gonna buy a standard. We'll buy a Braves. And we'll buy a Steeler. And there we go. They are all there. One more last check. Log. We should get rid of the one warning error because it's not it's not a unzipped anymore. So cool, all we have is the two warnings for them guys. So there you go, guys. Um, I think I hit everything. If you have any questions, uh, as always, feel free to uh, shoot me a whisper or message me somewhere. I'm YouTube. I'm gonna upload this so. Uh, you can always message me on there, leave a comment. Like I said, I, it's harder to get them, but uh, I said, give me some feedback. I said, I apologize, I'm a little tired this morning, as, as usual. But I hope I hope uh, I was able to help out. Hopefully you can uh, tweak some things, because you, know, you can do that with just about anything, but I thought the logo was kind of a cool idea. So anyhow, if you guys are watching me live on Twitch, got a few of you out there right now, uh, hang out. I will be right back. I uh, just want to cut this video off, so hang out, guys.